What up family and welcome to Forever Chic. Today we're looking at Fab Fashion, the South African Music Awards 2018 were held at Sun City this weekend. And what a show this was. There was quite a lot that was said. People had a lot to say and we're also going to check out what Black Twitter had to say about who wore what, okay? And it was like a lot of people were looking really beautiful. Divas came through, you know, people were on point. Some people had fashion designers who had the outfits specially done. Some were um, repeats of what we saw at the 2018. A little bit of a messy affair, but let's talk about the Summer 24 host okay so Mizi, i love so Mizi, but he can be a little bit extra and a lot of people had something to say about him dinara naka was another one as well as pop pops but it was all fun and games on twitter and i really had to share some of the shade that was being thrown on twitter so let's have a look at what people were not being so nice about on twitter okay so here it is best life says so Mizi sucks they I've said it, Summer's 24. You know, I like, Dina also got a lot of bad um, um, review because of her trying to be funny. I think just because we had pop-ups, it had to be just a little bit funny and people were not feeling that. So, you know, this is just basically what you get from um, this whole new age digital media that people will give you feedback on whatever it is that they didn't like. So basically most people felt like Dinao had to be home watching the summers. But another thing that we need to look at is the professionalism of these hosts. You know, Shade was being thrown at Bonang and Bonang was just um the topic for some reason and it's like people were really fed up with that come on now let's be professional but nang never throws shade and hey we all know what happens when you throw shade you'll never shine honey that's exactly what happens okay um i'm going to go into the fab fashion this is lira thank you for tuning in if you like the show please subscribe right now but let's look at some of the top dresses and bab huma who happens to be so busy's daughter a reality show star on his show looked fabulous in this white ensemble as well as there was a 1920s uh, great gatsby theme pearl media dia had it on and she looked amazing uh, besides the fact that this was a dress that we had already seen another one gatsby um, theme muesli she looked absolutely ravishing in this gold attire. It just fitted her skin tone. She looked beautiful. The next one is Tapsy SA. I love this dress. This dress was just awesome. It had all the right glitter and it really looked sexy. But my most favorite definitely was Nadia Nakai, who had this black, beautiful ensemble that looked quite ravishing, stylish, chic, sexy everything and the white hair just went really well her makeup was well done she looked beautiful she looked just her best i've never seen her looking like that and of course tembi samdada here she is and this is a post from her instagram okay so fam let's talk about this you know um some fashion designers gave our dresses to the 2018 Miss South Africa contestants and this is one of the videos from there. Basically this dress was also won by Boiti and people had to say who wore it best. I mean this is unfair. Um, this was not the only dress that, ha that happened to be seen at Miss South Africa and also appeared at the summers. So a lot of people on Twitter were saying, SA designers are so disrespectful. I mean, how can you do that? You always want to look yourself your best, unique and stylish, you know. But that was that. Fab fashion. Check us Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. And please hit that like button. Share this video and follow us.